Hey, what's up guys and gals, Rick Nig here and thank you for joining me again. This is episode two and we're gonna be looking at two machines right here, the carpenter and the squeezer. And we're gonna see how this helps boost our beekeeping abilities. Now let's take a look at these two machines. Okay, so as I was saying, the bee house guys is not the best bet because look, it's still taking so long and I've even built more area here. So anyway, um, let me show you how to go the next tier. I would just start with the apiary, but you got to make sure you have enough supplies. So here's what you need, guys. Don't worry about my setup here. All you got to do is make these two things. They're uh, much needed items. They're called a squeezer and a carpenter. Um, let me show you the recipes for them. The carpenter is over here. The carpenter, you need bronze going down uh, the, the sides over here, two glass and right in the middle here you need a sturdy casing right there sturdy casing let me go over here basically you need all bronze all right so you're first going to make this and then you're going to let me don't get confused here let me just switch them up oh hey 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 and there okay so yes you need to make the sturdy casing right there with all bronze and then you're gonna make this and then that'll make you the carpenter and here you have the carpenter for the squeezer same thing you're gonna have another sturdy casing which you make the recipe over there which I just showed you you're gonna have tin and glass not that hard to make and you make a squeezer you're going to power them up however I've just done a really simple power up just for demonstration purposes remember you do need kinesis pipes a wooden pipe and you do need this electrical engine however you power it from this side whether it's nuclear power whatever it doesn't really matter just make sure you're getting RF into both of them you need to add seeds to your squeezer okay and make sure a lot of seeds okay I've added these and you can see the progress bar here you can see how much oil you can have about 10,000 oil seed in here and you can see it's increasing about I don't know one one thousand two and that every three or four seconds ten you know um, and right now we're at 320 we can only empty the squeezer when it's at a thousand units so we gotta wait a little bit I'll meet you back when that is done okay so the correct time has passed guys we have had bucket here and then we have our seed oil bucket so what you want to do you want to go to the carpenter and basically transfer it in here just place it on this side over there and you can see two thousand now and there you go guys with the wood in there and enough seed oil boom you're you're able to click make sure you add a lot of wood where'd all my wood go wood my bad okay so make sure you it doesn't really matter what wood guys just add some it keeps doing that why is it doing that all right guys so once you add enough wood in here it doesn't really matter what type just make sure it's in the carpenter uh, box over here no power because it's struggling over there <laughs> Oh crazy little thing because I remember the squeezer is going as well. So let me just take these seeds out of here There we go. You are done and there we go. It is going to finish our impregnated case Why are you struggling? Yes, you need to get more power than what I'm producing And almost there we go impregnated case. All right, what do we do with our impregnated case? So it's very simple then you have your impregnated case in the middle you have the same recipe for the bee house only for the bee house remember you have the comb now you have the impregnated case and then you get your apiary yay apiary now I'm not going to show you in this video guys I'm going to have a whole another video just on the apiary I'm going to place it right here so you can see the difference between the bee house and the apiary I want to keep these videos relatively short um, this was mostly focused on the carpenter and the squeezer and how to get these working and all the recipes so if this helped you please leave a thumbs up there will be more I will show you how to use the apiary and the alveary and we will keep going thank you so much guys and gals and don't forget be hopeful